Hello my dear friends, we are in the fourth Sunday of Lent and we are very middle of the season of Lent and today our mother church once again invites us to meditate upon the forthcoming resurrection of our Lord, anticipated celebration of the solemnity of the resurrection my dear friends and we have during the season of Advent where we anticipate the birth of Jesus already a few weeks before so also during the season of Lent when we meditate on the self-denial of Jesus and deepening our own spiritual life church is giving a way to encourage us by reflecting on the resurrection and today the hope giving message that God sent his only son and giving his son was an expression of his pure love and therefore readings also invites us for more deeper reflection and to strengthen our spiritual life and my dear friends today i would like to share with you the seven ultimate truths namely the charismatic proclamation i want to share with you today and please do remember these seven truths whenever you reflect on your own faith journey and whenever we read the word of god we should understand in in this way based on these seven charismatic truths my dear friends and i would i would be sharing on these seven truths today and i wish that we would take it to the heart and we would memorize them so that we would enjoy our faith life my dear friends and in the very first reading today we see from the book of first book of chronicles where the people of judah they go away from god infidelity and infidelity is shown by them and we see how the enemies are conquering their land also the jerusalem temple is destroyed and this one symbolically we can assimilate today every time when we fall into sin then we are led by the enemy and god gives the permission god gives the allowance for the enemy to attack us and that is what happens in this old times where in the old testament we see how whenever people gone away from god and then the enemy takes the control and that is what we see in the first reading and the same reading is also connected in the psalms today psalm 137 well known by the rivers of babylon that where israel they mourn about the fall where they are taken captives to babylon and we could see the the sad tone of people having gone far away from jerusalem temple and in the second reading from the letter of saint paul to the ephesians we see how salvation is a free gift from god saint paul is explaining the salvation we have received from god is a purely free gift out of love and we have to cherish it and he is telling and in the gospel reading from the gospel of saint john my dear friends that encounter with jesus with Nicodemus was something very special that night secret discourse is big revelation for each one of us because there comes the gospel of the gospel namely chapter 3 verse 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that all who believe in him may not perish but will have eternal life and there lies the essence of our faith my dear friends the love of god is expressed and salvation through jesus christ is expressed and eternal life is assured and then life in the spirit is assured and life of faith and conversion is assured and all these aspects together combine the kerikma my dear friends i know a person who knows whenever you speak of any vegetable any food products she would immediately tell you what calorie, what vitamins they have. So much of knowledgeable person and she is a doctor herself. And you know, she was so qualified to identify what kind of energy you can get from this food or from this fruit or from this vegetable or from this meat, whatever. And that is the way uh, where we try to find the food for our own physical body. Because we try to buy food and depending on what kind of energy what kind of benefits they have accordingly we buy 
Now my dear friends, God is also feeding us with food every time through the word of God and through the Eucharist. And that we know. The Eucharist is full of protein my dear friends because Jesus gives his own heart. Now the word of God, how to understand the word of God because the word of God is also food because we see man does not live by bread alone but by every word that comes from the mouth of God and it is very obvious that the word of God is food for our soul and now how do I read the word of God to get cherished and how do I know what are the vitamins that are found in the word of God and therefore my dear friends today I would like to share with you these seven charismatic truths and that you will always remember in your life and whenever you are going to read the word of God you are going to get it that right perspective because some people would read it like a novel you know I like to read the miracles of Jesus I would like to read the miracles of prophets of the Old Testament times so enriching and so inspiring uh, that's all true my dear friends every book has their own inspiration and interesting facts but then the word of God has to be reflected completely different in the sense we have to read the word of God based on these seven charismatic truths that I am going to share with you some of you might know but some of you who do not know it would be a great eye-opening and but more than that it would be really deepening our own spiritual life my dear friends every time every single verse has this charismatic truth in it some verse might have more charismatic truths in single verse but then at least one charismatic truth you will find in each verse from the Bible my dear friends and that is why today I want to share with you and I always have in my Bible seven charismatic truths like a printed version so that every time even for a short time or for a long time when I read the Bible I am always keeping that seven truths so that you would always see in this verse what kind of expression that you find from the seven basic truths namely the charismatic truths and today I want to share with you remember these seven truths and always read the Bible and then get what is there in this the charismatic truth the first charismatic truth my dear friends charisma love of God and whenever you read you will find one charisma that love of God God loves us and that is very obvious and undeniable truth and this is the first charisma my dear friends and the second we have to also acknowledge our sinful nature when we fall by our sins then we go away from God so the second charisma is our sinful nature and the third charisma my dear friends when we have fallen in by sin we need salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ so the third charisma is our salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ and the fourth charisma is that when we have encountered Christ then we have faith and conversion life changes my dear friends the encountering Jesus is not a theory it's an act of expression so our faith leads to conversion so the fourth charisma is clear faith and conversion and the fifth charisma is that once my life changes I begin a life in the spirit so working of the Holy Spirit life in the spirit becomes very obvious so that is the fifth charisma my dear friends life of the spirit so the Holy Spirit comes to lead us and in the sixth charisma is the community building my dear friends Holy Spirit always leads us as a team evil spirits and Holy Spirit all spirits leads always even for good as a team or to evil as a team and therefore spirit Holy Spirit is nothing but the Spirit of God leads us always towards God and towards holiness and therefore he always leads us to the truth my dear friends therefore he always unites us as a community we see this every time when we read the word of God and therefore the sixth charismatic truth is that community life and final the last seventh charismatic eternal life every charismatic truth finally ends to 
leading us towards the eternity my dear friends so the eternal life is the seventh karikma my dear friends i have said seven charismatic truths namely love of the father the first one and our sinful nature the second one salvation through our lord jesus christ is the third one and then faith and conversion is the fourth one fifth one is the working of the holy spirit and the sixth one is the community life and seventh one is the eternal life now after knowing this charismatic truth whenever you read every verse from the bible you will see there at least minimum one charismatic truth you will find in every verse in the bible we see the holy spirit is the author of the word of god and this is proven my dear friends when we read the word of god we would see that every single verse has this charismatic truth is not that a clear proof that holy spirit is the author of the word of god and that is another beautiful sign that we can really see because if you and i were to write this word of god just merely with our own human abilities we could not have achieved that perfect way of putting charismatic truths in the word of god but when holy spirit has taken this authorship of the word of god he has led the word of god to be written in this way based on the charismatic truths my dear friends and in this gospel today this john chapter 3 verse 16 one of the most influential verse from the bible that god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that all who believe in him may not perish but will have eternal life and in this one verse alone my dear friends we have the seven charismatic truths and this is exactly falling on this fourth sunday of lent where we are given already rejoicing the glory of the resurrection though we are still making journey through this deserted land season of lent and we are given that hope that god has given his only begotten son what else he will not give my dear friends and therefore these charismatic truths you remember they completely express that pure love of god and all the time when we have difficulties because of our sin and we need jesus my dear friends for our salvation and when jesus comes it is never a theory it is always leading us through our faith to conversion once life of conversion starts my dear friends holy spirit is to us as a companion we become the temple of the holy spirit and holy spirit comes not to make you alone as a person leading towards eternity but he always takes every single soul around you as a community my dear friends and once the community life is built my dear friends then you see already that your eternity is very closer and there also we live in communion with god with all the saints and blessed and this is our ultimate faith my dear friends if you have not read the word of god based on this charismatic truth then you have not read the word of god rightly and therefore maybe god is inviting us to read the word of god with this seven truths perspective this charismatic perspective and you will get more deeper knowledge more deepening of the work of the holy spirit in each one of you and i wish that this homily on the charismatic will have a great foundation to our faith and then to read and understand the word of god rightly and more deeply whenever you read with this charismatic truths perspective my dear friends you would see so much of warmthness from the holy spirit anointing from the holy spirit will be very explicit you would feel very strongly my dear friends and there you will see that the word of god would be really a very delicious food for your soul because very many times word of god makes people to sleep because it is not going to be interesting or useful if these charismatic truths are not understood and this is how the holy spirit wants us to understand and this is very clearly known especially through when john paul the second gave the year of new evangelization proclaiming the word of god with the new style with the new way renewed faith and this aspect of charismatic truths become well known but for those of you who do not know 
I wish that this would really be of great help. And as we are in this fourth Sunday of Lent, I wish that we would read the word of God based on these truths. And we see that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. The last Sunday, Jesus is telling that I am the temple and after the resurrection, that temple is brought to life. So also, we all of us become the temple of the Holy Spirit and it is our bound duty, my dear friends, to take care of that temple and to feed our temple with the word of God and to give with adorning wonderful beauties of things, namely the word of God, based on these seven charismatic truths. And you will see your life will be having a drastical change, deepened in your faith journey. And not only you, all people around you would feel that special light from you. And nobody would be invisible because you would not seek any more darkness, but you will look for light. And when that light has come into you, you would become visible to every individual who look for God. And therefore, my dear friends, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. All who believe in him may not perish, but will have eternal life. Glory to Jesus. Ave Maria.